In this lecture, I am going to explain to you the concept of price, elasticity of demand. This concept was first formulated or first propounded by Mr. Alfred Marshall. Now, let me give you an example. As a student, you use various pens. Okay? Now let's say, you know, you need four pens a month and the price during the current month is rupees 20 per pen. Okay. Now suddenly what happens is, and let's say you were using this for X brand. Now suddenly what happened was that the price of this pen increased from 20 to rupees 25. So originally you were spending how much on the pen? 20 into 4 is equal to 80. But now if you require 4 pen, how much will you have to spend? New cost or your spending is going to be 25 into 4 100 now if your budget is not a problem you can might as well go ahead and buy 4 pens right but that is normally not the case with a normal person what happens is that as the price of the goods increase there is increase in price the demand or the quantity demanded will go down. Quantity demanded goes down. So what will happen here is that instead of buying 4 pen, you will see how much can I buy in 80. Now if the new cost is 25, we will divide this 80 by 25 and you will get 3.2 pence. Now pence you cannot buy in points so you will go and buy three pens so the original demand which was four will come down to three now it depends on a case to case basis but this change this change in the quantity demanded as the price of the goods moves up and down it could have been reverse also let's say this pen would have been available for 10 then maybe instead of 4, you would have said, let me buy 5 pens. So the change can happen both ways. It's not that the prices not necessarily increase, although that's the case in most of the cases. Now, the concept of price elasticity that is here tries to measure price elasticity measures the percentage change in the quantity of goods demanded by people or rather consumers relative to change in price of goods. So basically you measure what's the percentage increase in the price or price elasticity which is normally referred to as ED is equal to 
percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. Now what will be the percentage change in quantity? So if you know, remember the formula is relating to mathematics, you know percentage change in quantity would mean what? This would mean change in quantity divided by original quantity upon percentage change in quantity you can compute by this percentage change in price change in price divided by original price okay now if I were to apply this to the current example what is the change in quantity let's say my quantity changed from 4 to 3 so change in quantity is 4 minus 3 okay what is the change in price price has increased from 20 to 25 right so in this case actually it will not be 4 minus 3 4 was the original quantity so it will be 3 minus 4 upon original quantity was 4 or 1 by 4 okay so the numerator is 1 by 4 how about the denominator change in price price was 25 minus 20 upon original price is 20 so 5 upon 20 which again gives me 1 by 4 right so this will be 1 upon 4 upon 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 but this is negative so this is negative elasticity so elasticity of demand is 1 which means that with the change in price with the increase in price the quantity demanded fell proportionately right so elasticity is basically a measure of change in quantity upon percentage change in quantity as a percentage of change in price of the goods